We shall look at properties of enantiomers, optical activity. Pure enantiomers have one have identical melting and boiling points. Two have identical indexes of refraction. Three, they show identical infrared spectra. Four, they have identical solubilities in common solvents. But how do they differ? So one is the observable way in which financial mass differ is in their behavior is in their behavior toward plain polarized light separate enantial mass rotates plane of plane polarized polarized light equal amounts but in opposite directions. So this is the key point, uh, equal amounts and in opposite directions. So uh, a pair of enantiomers will have uh, this effect. They will rotate the plane of plane polarized light equal amounts but in opposite directions. Separate enantial mass are said to be optically active compounds. Because of their behavior on the plane polarized light. So plane polarized light is light. Plane polarized light is light that vibrates vibrates in a single direction due to its passage in a polarizer. So this is how we can define a plane polarized light. While normal light vibrates in all directions. So now uh, we can now look at um, specific um, rotation. Specific rotation. 
So we want to see uh, the number of degrees uh, of which the plane of polarization is rotated as it passes through the solution of an inertial man. Specific rotation is given by where alpha square bracket is the specific rotation. Alpha is the observed, observed rotation. C is the concentration of the solution or density. Concentration of the solution in grams per milliliter or, or density. Or density in grams per milliliter for neat liquids. L is the length of the cell in decimeters. We know that one decimeter is equal to 10 centimeters. So this is the uh, formula that we may use to calculate specific rotation. Uh, specific rotation may be uh, reported as So in this case, or we can, or since specific rotation depends on the temperature and the wavelength of light used. In this case, we can, for example, if specific rotation is, is represented as um, alpha 25D is equal to positive uh, 5.26 degrees. So here it means the D line, uh, D line, um, uh, sodium lamp sodium lamp was used lambda or wavelength at 586.9 nanometer uh, at a temperature uh, temperature uh, 25 degrees uh, Celsius so we can also, since it depends on temperature and the wavelength of light employed, so these can also be uh, uh, included in the, in the formula. Then now, uh, while the positive sign, the positive sign uh, means that uh, the light was um, rotated in the clockwise, clockwise uh, direction. So, uh, light can either be rotated in the clockwise or anti-counterclockwise. So, a substance that rotates, rotates light in the clockwise direction is called or is said to be dextro rotatory while a substance that rotates light in the counter uh, counter clockwise direction is called level rotatory from the Greek uh, uh, terms dextro and levers. So uh, dextro means right, uh, levers means means left. So in the next tutorial, 
Uh, we shall now do some calculations on the specific rotations. Uh, we shall also look at rhythmic forms and inertial axis. Uh, Thanks for watching.